Hey everybody, welcome to Watching Movies. John here. And I want to talk to you all about today about a, my favorite new video distribution company. And that's Arrow Video. Arrow Video started off in the UK distributing movies there. A lot of cult favorites and stuff like that. Horror films, martial arts films, just different things like that. Um, just within the past two or three years, they've started coming here to America. Now, they can't release everything that they get in the UK because other companies here do have the distribution rights. So it's very hard for them to release those. But um, they first came in prominence to me when last year they released in the UK a box set that I just I seen it and I just like, oh, God, I got to have that. And it was a box set of the Hellraiser 1, 2, and 3 with a new 4K uh, uh, cleanup on it and everything. And <clears throat> all kinds of bonus material and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, I wish I was coming out here because I'm not region free. I hope to be here soon. Um, and I just really wanted to have it. It wasn't until, I believe, August of last year they made an announcement for two things being released here in America that made me go I have to get these so immediately they went up for pre-order I sent the pre-order to my wife and said these are what I want for Christmas because they're both coming out in Dece uh, like late November or early December I was like I have to have these for Christmas so I, and I was glad she did because they ended up selling out in a few places and had ended up being some issues with them and the first thing they announced they were releasing that I had to have was that Hellraiser box set. It's called the Hellraiser Scarlet Box. It's got Hellraiser, Hellbound, Hellraiser 2, and Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth. All three movies in this beautiful box. All kinds of bonus material, which I'm not going to go through because I'm sure a lot of people have already seen videos on the this, so I'm not going to waste people's time on it. But it comes with all three movies and these little sleeves. It comes with a bonus disc all about the legacy of Clive Barker. Another sleeve that has a poster in it and some postcards. And then it also comes with this beautiful, almost 200 page hardback book about the making of all three movies and stuff. And it, just, and it was just a gorgeous set that I had to have. And I'm glad I was able to get it. And I, trust me, my minute I opened it on Christmas and realized my wife got it, I was excited. I mean, I could have ordered it myself, but I had faith in her. And the next thing they released was something I had to have. Was this limited edition Creep Show 2 collection. Um, and what they had released two versions of it. They released it with just the disc itself, which would be just, just the case, like this, with the movie in it. But then they also released it with this special edition where it comes with in this sleeve, very sturdy cardboard sleeve, I gotta say, it's very thick. But the cool thing they had in it was that during the making of this movie, there was supposed to be a fourth story in it because you have the um, story of um, the raft, you have the story of the, um, um, the hitchhiker and, oh, what was the first one? I might as well blank on me. Oh, oh, wooden cheap. Oh, wooden head cheap. Um, oh, Chief Woodhead, I mean. And so it had those, and plus a little cartoon, little story that goes in between. But there was a fourth story they were supposed to film, but they ran out of money, so they couldn't do it. And that was called Pinfall. And it was about a bowling league that goes wrong and stuff like that and gets killed and has zombies in it. And what they did in this special edition collection was they made a comic book adaption of it, of the script, which is really cool. It kind of goes back to the um, Creep Show, if you've ever seen it, the Creep Show. For the first one, they did a comic book version of it in a real big book and stuff, and they published it. And, and this is one I'm glad I really got because there was a lot of problems with this, where s several places oversold their allotted amount. Because this was only, I believe, a 3,000 limited edition amount. And I gotta say, for a movie that was low budget in the 80s, the restoration on this movie is. To me, gorgeous. I know a lot of you have been reading a lot of people saying there's problems with what they saw with it. But I thought it looked really good. Perfect, really well cleaned up. 
Now that was the first two Arrow videos and I've always wanted more. I always went to go to the website and see things that I would be interested in getting. But the problem is they were really expensive. I mean, suggested retail price is like $40 on their movies. and uh, But you could find them on sale sometimes for like around 20 ranging on up a little bit higher. Um, but uh, last month in March, they released, I mean, that they released, but FamilyVideo.com announced they were having a sale for Arrow videos. And I went and checked it out, and my God, the prices on these movies were like, they had movies for $10 that are regularly $40. They had movies that were like, they were ranging like from 10 12 and I believe 15 I think it is. And that, those were cheap. So I had to have it place an order. And I placed an order of seven movies. They had a lot on sale, but a lot of stuff I'm not into. I'm not into, I'm not a really big fan of Giallo films, because I think they're just slow and just, I just don't dig them. And then they had a lot of, um, um, like, uh, Asian films, which are, some of them are cool, but it's, I know I'm not going to watch them again, so that's why I didn't get them. But I really liked a lot of their, some of the other things they had. So I had to place an order. And I got, like I said, I got seven films. Um. Now I'm gonna show you. I'll show you the movies, but some of them I, I'll, t I'll tell you more about it when I get to them. The first one I ordered was um, a movie called Slugs, which is a horror movie where it's about these the, these slugs come up and they start killing people. And now I haven't watched a lot of these yet. I haven't watched these yet. It's like it's, my previous videos, it's talking about the stack. These are just part of the stack, but I will watch them eventually. They is 2K restoration on it it's got the reversible art which I liked the new art rather better than the older older art it's got a booklet inside talking about where they talk about the making of the movie it's got pictures from the movie in it so look at that slug eating somebody getting ready to bite somebody but so I just really had I think this one was one of the ones that were like uh, ten dollars i believe and the thing is the family video sale come to find out that they actually started the sale earlier than they were supposed to and they weren't done adjusting the prices so like a few days later after i placed my order they all of a sudden caught wind and they raised the price of everything like up two dollars on each of the things the movies that were like 9.95 ended up being 11.95 and stuff so um the next movie i got was an old no, it's 80s, but it's a comedy film, and that's Return of the Killer Tomatoes. Now, this is, if you've ever seen the first Killer Tomatoes, it's just a weird little low-budget movie. It's the, basically what it's about, Killer Tomatoes. And this one was a little bit different. It was more comedy. It took itself a little meta. It made itself a little meta. It's the first movie that um, George Clooney was in. And it's just one of those weird, silly little movies. And once again, it's got the reversible art on it the disc comes with the booklet like most of their do most of their movies do some of them only the first print runnings will have the booklet some of them don't so they don't some of them don't come with them some movies they do release have sleeves on them which is very like very first print run and stuff so and the next one I got was let's see um let's do this one um the Hills Have Eyes collector, limited edition collector's edition. This is actually a cool set. It's kind of like that Creep Show 2 one. Comes in this very good, hard, sturdy box. Can't get everything out of it. Comes with the movie. This set doesn't come with a book inside the movie, but it does come with these postcards that have different little scenes from the characters. show you them all but get the idea of it does come with a lot of bonus stuff in it as well which a lot of their movies do and that's one reason I like them because they do have all those bonuses comes with a poster of the cover art of the old cover art which I've switched it on the front and the other side of the poster has the the new artwork on it and then it also comes with just like the other books other ones it comes with a 
thicker collectible book that talks about the making of the movie, has steals in it, and stuff. Talks about the um, and one thing I like about the booklets, they always talk about the end of it about the transfer and how they re restored them and where they did it at and the process and stuff, which I think is really cool. Okay. Okay. Now, the next ones, um, these I have, well, maybe the Mutilator. Let me see. Okay, the next one I got was called the Mutilator, which is a um, horror movie from the 80s. Uh, I've never seen it, but it just looked just like a type of movie I would like. It was also re originally released under the name of Fall Break, so you may have heard it under that title. And it is a two disc. This is a um, comes with the DVD and the Blu-ray. Comes with the booklet. Now I haven't read this booklet because this I've read the other ones, but I haven't read this one because it does warn you at the beginning of it. It does say, let me get to it here. Warning: The following article contains spoilers. So I haven't read this book yet about the movie because I didn't want to be spoiled because I've never seen the movie. I'm, I may start watching it and go, wait a minute, I have seen this. But it's just, just like all the real books, it's just well done sets. And it does have a transfer, restoration, goes behind the scenes, has original trailers, TV spots, uh, commentaries and stuff, it's just like all the other does. Now these next ones, all three of these next ones had limited editions originally released, but they sold out, I missed them, and after seeing these, I really wish I got was able to get those collector's editions instead, but I gotta get what I gotta get. First movie is Society. Now, before I decided to buy this movie, I did look up on YouTube and found the movie on YouTube and skimmed through it to see to see if I would like it. It sounded interesting, but I wanted to make sure I wanted to I would watch it and really enjoy it because by by it's a film by Brian Yuzna or Yuzna who also um, did work with the um, who produced Reanimator, Brought of Reanimator, Return of the Living Dead 3. He had a lot to do with those. And this is uh, because of the DVD, the Blu ray. This one does come with the book. And um, they actually released this in kind of like the Creep Show and the Hills Have Eyes versions in a slip box. It came with, I believe, a bigger, thicker book, and I think maybe another disc or something. I believe is what it came with. And I really wish I got that. It was, I like the cover because I think it had like a, um, it's kind of rough feeling, like because like the picture here does. Like, you could feel like the indentions and all that kind of stuff. But this movie has got a crazy ending to it. I really, they call it the the scene they call it the. Um, I don't know what they call it now. They call it like the shunting or something like that. And it's, trust me, it is weird. The movie is about, just basically about the eight, during the 80s when you had like the, the preppies and all that kind of stuff. And you had the upper class and stuff. And how they looked down the lower classes. And and just how they were getting their powers and all that. Their, their, their power, not powers, but their power, their money and stuff like that. The next one they had was Bride of Reanimator. Now this one did come with, it also come in a collector's edition with three discs. This is only a two disc version, which is the DVD and then the movie itself. It does come with the unrated version on here. This does come with the booklet. Comes with all the pictures and writings about the movie. Now, this movie I have seen before. I like I love the first first two at least the first two reanimator movies. Uh, the third version the the collector's edition came in a box. It also came with a I'm trying to remember the third disc the third disc I think was a um theat it came with a theatrical version or have you and the it came with every version together and stuff. And uh, and this, I'm sure this is going to be great with all this um, content on it and everything like that. And the next one 
It's a movie called Blood Rage. And this is a story about uh, some twins, Todd and Terry, and one of the brothers, um, there's a murder, one of the twins, Todd, is blamed for it, but the other brother did it and stuff, and there's the whole thing about coming back. Now, this movie's collector's edition came with like three different versions of the movie, because they came out with like, I think they had, I think it had two different titles to it as well, and um, so it had like three different versions of the movie in it, and I really wish I got that version, because this only comes with the DVD, the um, and the Blu-ray, and the version that comes on this is the, what they call the hard home video version. So I guess that was like the, um, more of an unrated version of it. And there's a version, that they came with like the, um, theatrical version, and I believe there was a, I think a TV version, I think is what it was, and stuff, but this is, I just can't really wait to watch this one, because it's just, supposedly this movie was also filmed like, I don't remember if it was this one. Oh yeah, this movie was actually filmed in 1983, but it was not released until 1987. Um, and it's supposed to be really gruesome and stuff. So I mean, I don't know why. I can't wait to get in here and sit, find out if they talk about why it took four years for it to be released and stuff. But it looks really cool. Now, the last two I've got are recent releases. That the moment they one of them was first released earlier in the UK. And I was like, oh, there's no way this one's going to get released here. But luckily they did. So, and then the other one was that it had it was a UK and US release with a difference. With differences between the two releases. And I got these for my birthday. That's why these came out earlier this April. <clears throat> but I just got them yesterday for my birthday. So, the first one is this Donnie Darko Collector's Edition. Now, this came out in the UK earlier. I thought for sure it wasn't going to come out here because I thought for sure somebody else had the Donnie Darko um, distribution rights here in America. But luckily they were able to do it in a limited amount. So, and it does come with a lot. It comes with a it comes with the theatrical cut of the movie. It comes with a poster of the cover art of the of the original movie poster comes with it on uh, DVD and Blu-ray. Got some very cool artwork on there. And then it also comes with the director's cut, which is, I'm trying to remember how much the difference is. The theatrical cut version is 113 minutes long, while the director's cut is 20 minutes longer. So I've never, I don't think I've ever seen the director's cut version. And it does come with both it on DVD and Blu-ray. And it comes with, I'm not going to take these out, it comes with some um, little cards, which I just, I thought were little, didn't really need be, I, did, I didn't care about those. But the cool thing is, it also comes with a hardback book. It is the hardback version of this. 89 pages. Well, that's a good amount in this book. And it's got picture stills in it. Talks about the making of the movie. In an interview with um, the director, um, Richard Kelly. Um, so I just, uh, I really ha I haven't got a chance to read this one yet. And I really can't wait to get into it. Cause I really enjoy this movie. I'm, I think it really, I hope it holds up. I mean, to me, I hate the term holding up for movies. As long as it's something you like, then it holds up. You know, to me, it's like I, I hear people saying like Goonies, for example. Oh, it doesn't hold up. Quit watching it in your adult eyes. Remember watching it when you were younger, and it still holds up. That's how I watch movies like that and stuff. But this is a great set. It does have lots of bonus content to it. Does not want to go back in here. I mean, it has a lot on it. Let's see, you can just read the, see the back of it there. It's got like it's 4K trans, uh, restoration on it, which of uh, both versions. And I know they did release it for a day here in some theaters across America. There's a showing for it a while back. Um, it's got a, um, a new documentary called uh, about the philosophy of Donnie Darko. It's got several audio commentaries for it with the movie makers, the actors. Um, it's got twin deleted and alternate scenes. 
to it. Um, archive interviews with people in the movie and a, um, a documentary, uh, They Made Me Do It, They Made Me Do It Too, and a number one fan. Um, storyboard comparisons, cunning visions, infomercials, all kinds of different things. It's really... So I was really glad they were able to bring this version of the movie here to America. And the next one is, and the final one, House, Two Stories. Now, this only had, the U, there's, this one came out in the UK and the US at the same time. And the difference is, in the UK, it came with all four house films, which I never knew there was four. I just remembered the first two. Um, and here in America, they only released it as the house two stories instead of the complete collection. And it only comes with. House and House Two. Uh, both of them are both 2K restorations. Have interviews, commentaries, um, theatrical trailers. I mean, just well packed. But I just think it's interesting that that there was four of these movies, and I never knew that until I started flipping through the book. The House Companion. Now, this is the same book that comes in the UK edition. They didn't change it to just have the information for these two. They just went ahead and kept the book for all four of them. Now, the one for House 3 uh, is called The Horror Show, which I've seen this movie and never knew it was a house movie. Because I don't think here in America it was called House. I think it just might have called the horror, the horror Show. And, um... It has, oh, I can't remember the actor's name now. Um, but he's been so many, I, I, think, I know he passed away. This giant guy right here. Um, I remember seeing this because it was a gory movie back in the day when it came out. And then the House 4 movie, which I never never even heard of, it actually had William Cat, who was in the first movie, come back as this character. And I just, I've never knew, I never knew that. And I just think it's interesting. I haven't read this book. Cause this The hardback book for this one is... 140, about 148 pages long, hardback book about all the movies. Now, and this, like I said, these, both these movies have a lot of collections. This is limited edition, I believe. Um, which I like about their movies, is because you, a lot of their, some of their movies, because they are collector's editions, for limited amount of time, for limited editions of them. Um, I'm hoping to eventually hopefully sooner than later going to be region free so I can get some of the, the UK editions here because I know there's several of those I want to get um, and they do have I have two more movies coming out coming in next month from Arrow Video that's being released so I'll be doing videos with those and they've also released their June or July oh their July there's a July editions that they're going to be coming out with which there's one that I'm going to want on that list June there is one I want but I'm going to wait until it gets cheaper because it's not, I'm not going to pay that much for just a one disc movie but check out Arrow Video that's what I had to say they if you like horror movies what have you like like I said like Japanese movies um I'm trying to think of what all I mean they've got so many different kinds of movies um some of the um erotica films and stuff like um, they have they've released which I'm sure are interesting to see um, but check out their website arrowvideo.com see if they have anything you're interested in and check them out I mean they're a really great uh, company doing something different and I'm glad I'm finally getting into them and able to get some of them and please tell me if you've got some arrow video movies list, list below what if there's anything I should get or check out um, tell me about the movies that I got here and what you thought about them, if you've watched them, or, um, or what you would like me to talk about them when I do finally watch them and I do talk more into detail about them. Let me know if there's anything you would like to know what my thoughts were. Just let's get this conversation going. Let's talk about movies. And I will see you on the next video of Watching Movies. Catch y'all later.